Rainbow DSP6TM Instructions The Rainbird ESP6TM automatic watering system takes care of your lawn with a preset watering schedule capable of recurring every 2, 3 or 5 days. A custom setting is available if you require watering less frequently. Once you've installed your timer and are ready to begin using it, you might have questions about how to use it. Before leaving on vacation or long trips, you'll want to test your timer and make sure it is functioning to your liking. Turn the programming dial located in the center of the timer to the HR hour position located on the left side of the dial in the current time and day area to set the current time. You will see the presently set AM or PM hour in the display located on the top left of the timer. Push the up or down button located to the right of the display to bring the hour to current. Turn the program dial to men. Push the up or down button to change the minutes to the current time. Slide the schedule switch located on the bottom right of the timer to the fixed day schedule of 2, 3 or 5. Twist the program dial to day located on the left side of the dial beside HR. You will see the see the number 1 appear on the display, indicating day 1. Watering always happens on day 1. Push the up or down button to adjust the current day from 1. If you want to water tomorrow, and you chose the 5 day schedule, change the current day to 5. When the cycle rolls over to 1 the next day watering will commence, and it will reoccur every 5 days. Turn the program dial to station 1 located on the lower right side of the dial to begin setting your watering station run times. You will see the station you selected and the length of time that it will run. The default run time is 10 minutes. Push the up or down button to adjust the run time up or down between 1 minute and 99 minutes. If you aren't using some of the 6 stations, set them each to 0. Turn the program dial to the next station and repeat the steps until each station has a set run time. Turn the program dial to auto located at the top of the timer to put the timer into automatic mode. You will see the current date in a countdown until the next automatic watering in the display. If you don't turn the dial to auto, it will eventually set itself to auto. To cease all operation from the timer, turn the program dial to off.